Okay, so I see how it is. We're going to pick up undrafted free agents from the Seahawks and sixth round picks from the Lions, and yet the Packers won't sign me as wide receiver. I mean, what else does a guy have to do around here? Crossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packers, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom, for Packers wide receiver, Grassy. And while I am recording this at 11.30 p.m. Eastern on a Monday night, this will be going out on Tuesday because I won't be around on Tuesday, so I wanted to make sure you still had a video. And what we're going to be talking about is the Packers claiming wide receiver Travis Fulgham and potentially signing Malik Turner. Now, by the time this video comes out, potentially the Packers will have already signed Malik Turner, and this is why I'm putting a maybe or a may or an if or a but in the title, because here's what happened. So over the weekend, Rob Domofsky from ESPN reported that Malik Turner worked out with the Green Bay Packers. So you might be thinking, okay, so they're giving him a shot. However, teams actually can't bring in a player just to work out without the intention to actually sign them. So, for example, Brian Gutekunst had a press conference today in which he stated that you can't bring people off the streets just to work out. You can only bring them in to sign them, and then afterwards they have to go through multiple phases to be allowed inside the building. So, basically, that's indicating if the rumors are true, if the report is true, if Malik Turner did work out for the Green Bay Packers, then that pretty much means that he's going to be signed. Now, Turner, it was an undrafted free agent from Illinois, and in Illinois. He had a four-year career and 143 receptions, a little over 1,800 yards, and 10 touchdowns over those four seasons. He also wears number 17, so that's going to have to change, Malik. I'm just just letting you know. So Malik Turner has been on the Seahawks for the past two years. He didn't really do anything his first year, but last year he had 15 receptions for 245 yards and one touchdown. He was pretty efficient against the 49ers in that game for overtime. He's 6'2", 202 pounds, and 24 years old. So Turner kind of fits the bill for what Goody looks for in a wide receiver, big possession receiver. Funches, for example, was 6'4", and like I think like 230-ish. Turner with those tangibles is going to have a chance to compete for a roster spot if he does get signed, which again, he's most likely going to. And it was also announced today that the Packers claimed Travis Fulgham from the Lions. Fulgham was drafted by the Lions last year in the sixth round. He's 6'2", 215 pounds, had 128 receptions and 2,044 yards and 18 touchdowns in four years at Old Dominion University. His senior year, he had over 1,000 yards and nine touchdowns. He ran a 4'5", 40-yard dash, got an invitation to the Senior Bowl, and he's 24 years old. He was targeted three times during the regular season but failed to bring in a catch had a pretty impressive game against the Texans in the preseason last year made an acrobatic catch which was pretty good I imagine Fulgham's being brought in for depth here now we did cut Jamal Davis the linebacker slash defensive end for Miami that we picked up over the offseason to make room for Fulgham I will say with either of these guys not to expect the world here that they're going to come in and immediately make an impact however Goody's just bringing in more guys to compete for the spot with Funches going out. If I had to guess, I would say Turner has a better chance at making the roster because he has more experience, but you may find that neither of these guys actually make the final roster. Now, during the stream, people were already complaining and talking about, like, why aren't we signing a guy like Taylor Gabriel, who's out there? Both these guys are most likely going to be signed for a minimum, so it's going to do very minimal damage to the cap, which Right now, we don't have a whole lot of, and of course, we're going to have to re-sign Kenny Clark. That was brought up during the Goody press conference, and we're still waiting on that contract. And so the Packers, while I would imagine Taylor Gabriel is going to be pretty cheap, they instead decided to go with some possession receivers who don't have a ton of experience. But again, I think this just furthers the narrative that Goody has a lot of trust in that wide receiver room. Alan Lazard basically said in his press conference that all the talking heads were talking about how the Packers need a wide receiver, don't know what they're talking about, they don't know about the talent in that room. And honestly, again, we talked about this the other day, you could have an MVS, an EQ, a Lazard really kind of emerge as being really good players. It's just that a guy like MVS or EQ have either been untested, don't have a ton of experience. And so because of that, as fans, you know, our expectations are decently low. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that either of these guys are actually going to make the roster? Do you think the Packers still need a wide receiver? Or are you like, you know what, at this point, who cares? Let's just roll with who we have. 
You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy, all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout out and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, go back, go. Oh.